From the 700 WLW Newsroom, here's Brian Combs. Big stories you're talking about on the big one today. A local lawmaker is going to have a great deal of input over how the federal budget is reduced. Rob Portman, the senator from Ohio, former congressman from this area, is going to be on that super committee of 12 lawmakers selected to figure out how to bring down the federal budget deficit. The super committee was established by Congress and the president as they solved the debt crisis earlier this month. Portman, one of 12 who will serve. No word on when that work will get started. Looks like voters in Cincinnati will decide whether or not the streetcar project moves forward. Opponents have gathered enough signatures on petitions to put that issue on the ballot come November. The vote will basically decide whether or not city council is allowed to spend any more money on developing a streetcar that would run from downtown to Finley Market. Downtown today, naked protesters PETA. People for Ethical Treatment of Animals organizing a demonstration outside Tiffany's at 5th and Vine. Sure to attract attention over the noon hour today. They say the demonstrators, three of them, will be lying in coffins with nothing on, protesting the wearing of animal skin. Cincinnati City Council has budget hearings today. They'll be talking about how to save the jobs of 44 police officers. Today's budget hearing at 6 at the Hartwell Community Center. They want to hear from people over what the city's budget priorities would be as they deal with a $5 million deficit. The city manager is said to make the budget come in line. He wants to lay off 44 police officers. Since has new police chief changing uniform guidelines for city workers. For the first time ever, Cincinnati police officers will not be required to wear their hats. The chief says it'll be optional. If the cop wants to do it, it's up to him. Chief also says he is not going to require officers to wear those black clip-on ties with their short sleeve shirts in the summer. 700 WW Reds update. The Reds lost another one-run game last night. That loss to the Rockies means that the Reds are now 11 games out of first place in the NL Central behind the Milwaukee Brewers. Reds in Colorado continue their series tonight. It's going to be a beautiful night for baseball with temperatures very pleasant. Airtime is 6:10 on the big one. Hamilton Little League All-Stars are two games away from the Little League World Series. They've been there before, but it's been a couple of years. This team has to beat Indiana today to stay alive in the Great Lakes Regional. Indiana was undefeated in pool play while Hamilton went 2-2. Two and two. Games being carried live today on ESPN2. It starts at 3 o'clock. 